um, more squishy bananas are going to work better than underripe bananas. So just peel them. And these probably aren't as ripe as I'd like. And then I find the best just to squish it into the bowl with your hands. Not very elegant, but does the job. So you want to get them as mashed up as possible so you, you don't have big chunks of banana. It's kind of you know evenly dispersed through. And if you've got brown bits at the end like I do, just I really don't like big chunks of banana in my banana bread. So I like to get my fork and really go work through. Or you can pop it in a food processor and whiz it if you if you like. It's in, so I've just got six eggs. I've just broken into a bowl. Just don't want to stand here watching me break break eggs. So just give that a quick whisk. And then the butter which I've melted, so 150 grams, which is five ounces. And then we want to get in our uh, sweetener, which I'm using a mix of um, stevia, a blend of stevia and erythritol, which is um, called brand's called Natria, which I find is quite good for baking. So we want 100 grams, although it's very expensive. Okay, so we'll just whisk that in. Then I'll get in my flour. So I've got uh, 65 grams of coconut flour here that I've already weighed out and I've mixed it with my baking powder, so just a teaspoon of baking powder. And at this point <laughs> I find it's best to get, get a whisk to get the coconut flour mixed in it. It looks like not very much flour but you'll be amazed how coconut flour just soaks up all that liquid. So I've got my um, just a small loaf pan that I've just lined face and sides with uh, baking paper. So all we need to do then is get our mixture into our pan. I'll just <clears throat> even it out a bit. And then it's ready for the oven. Okay, our cake's been in for 40 minutes. I'm just going to test it. And looking pretty good. There's, there's a few crumbs on there. It's feeling springy to the touch. Um, so I think it's that's done. So I'm gonna it's browned up quite a bit. So I'm just gonna turn the oven on and let it cool in the tin. Hi there, I'm Jules from Stone Soup and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, really encourage you to jump on over and have a look at my blog. It's thestonesoup.com and if you sign up for free email updates, you'll also get a free copy of my uh, video e-cookbook which is chock full of videos just like this one. So I hope to see you soon.